Hey everybody, it's Catherine here, and today is January 27th, 2025, and I wanted to give you a quick peek at my chest. Um, I have just finished a 5-FU treatment just a couple days ago, and I am now in the healing process. And I thought that since the sunlight was good today, I would show you um, a little bit of a close up of exactly how the skin heals. And um, while it might, might be a little shocking for some people, um, honestly, I am very happy with the way it looks. Um, I feel like the 5FU did a very, very good job of, um, as I say, being a heat-seeking missile and going in there and finding some of these precancerous cells that, to be honest with you, from the surface, I would have never known were there. And having had extensive sun damage as a child um, at almost 65 years old now, it is always a surprise to me when I do this treatment as to what actually shows up. Uh, there's one spot that I kind of suspected a little bit, but pretty much everything else was a surprise. So I'm going to step into the sunlight. It might be a little glary, but I'm hoping that it kind of gives you a good idea um, after you've had your reactions and maybe some eruptions. Um, what the skin looks like when it's healing and I don't worry about it at all. I've done my face twice now. The healing process has actually been really interesting, but my skin always looks good. Um, you know, within maybe four to six weeks or so. Now you also have to remember that each of us have a different way of reacting and um, you can go back and look at uh, my past videos to see how I actually reacted. So um, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and step into the sunlight, try and focus on my chest for you. And if you have any questions, you can certainly, um, you know, contact me through comments. And if you like, you know, the content that I provided as far as, um, 5-FU treatment and why people should be protecting their sun or skin from the sun now that, you know, we all know how damaging it is. And in this day and age with, you know, the greenhouse effect, it's even worse. Um, you know, please share my videos, especially with maybe family members that don't take you seriously or don't take this issue seriously. I, I don't want to see anybody go through this treatment. And once again, for those of you that maybe just popped in on this particular video, I did have to have a complete Mohs reconstructive surgery on my um, Ayla here. This is actually my left ear from right there. And I also had to have a large incision here and down to here. So while it may look okay to you guys, in in, in my view, it's very disfiguring. And um, it was very traumatic. It was very expensive. And I would never, never wish this on my worst enemy. So, um, you know, just take this as a warning that... You know, skin cancer isn't anything to mess with. So let me go ahead. I'm going to step into the sunlight and let's see if I can give you a pretty good visual. And I can't see diddly, so um, in my camera right now. So I'm hoping this will show you. And remember, I just did my chest, but I even had a reaction clear up into here and this was a spot that a dermatologist had cauterized about 25 years ago telling me it was nothing and it had reacted but hopefully and I apologize because I really I cannot see anything so I'm getting kind of a reflection off my phone as well as off the glass. So if I've kind of drifted into no man's land in a couple of points here, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. But anyway, I hope that that gives you some context as to what you can expect as your skin is healing. It's different for everybody, um, but I think that's a pretty good visual of um, 
you know, how, how I'm healing. So anyhow, thank you so much. And, um, again, please like subscribe and share. Um, this is, this is a important and I, in my personal opinion, a very effective treatment. Talk to your dermatologist about getting 5-fluorouracil or Ephiodex if you've had lots and lots of sun exposures, maybe a bunch of little precancers burned off. This might be a really good preemptive step for you to take, but your dermatologist will be able to give you the answer on that. And with that, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.